What up, we're Theory of a Dead Man. We are so excited to be here answering your questions and thank you so much for submitting them. We also want to thank Nikki Six for having us. What a good guy. Yeah, what a great thank guy. You. Wait a minute, Nikki Six? I thought it was a chick. What a sounds great chick. <laughs> what a great girl. She sounds hot. All right, let's get to some Ask Anything questions for Theory of a Dead Man. Fans asked us some questions and we're going to answer them for the fans. Stacy from Bedford. Love the single Drown. Sounds different than any other theory song. Can I expect the rest of the album to have this new vibe? Ooh. What's that? Oh, oh David. David. Ringing in? David. Ringing in. David. Yes, I'll take this one, guys. Uh, I do think that this uh, record has a different vibe than our last few records. I don't know that Drown is necessarily the song that would, you know, identify with the rest of the songs, but uh, there is a definite vibe on this record that's different than our past records. Uh, so, <clears throat> what was her name again? Stacy. Stacy. Could be a guy. Thanks. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Dimitri from Samara says, do you have plans to release an acoustic album? We get this question a lot, all the time. Someone just I have a question. question. Where's Samara? Or is it Samara? Or Samara. I don't think we have plans to do an acoustic uh, album, but it doesn't mean it will never happen. I think that, uh, like Ty said, we, get, we do get that a lot. Live DVD, we get asked that a lot. We've done some acoustic versions of songs on uh, Scars and Souvenirs record. We did like five songs acoustic. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, let's say 2015. Let's say. <laughs> let's it takes say us long enough to make maybe, a regular record. Maybe. Let's say <clears throat> yes or no. <laughs> Alex from Boston, what made you stick to your root, rock roots? Instead of branching out into a more pop electronic rock direction that bands have been leaning towards. Well, we're a rock band. It, we like rock. I feel like in a way, it, it, so many bands are, are leaning that direction. It almost helped us in wanting to stay more rock. Go the opposite. And do the opposite of what some, some of these bands are doing. You know, technology is making it so easy. Uh, but it's not always about what's easy. We is also it? don't really listen to a lot of what's happening today. So we yeah, kind of stay that. Stay to uh, our, what our roots are. Our true rock roots. True rock roots. Is that yeah. close? True rock roots. Thanks for noticing. Mm. Thanks a lot, Alex. Tanya or Tanya from Russia. Ooh. How often do you see the fan art and messages? Should I say that in a Russian accent? <clears throat> yes. Yes. How often do you <laughs> <German>. see? <laughs> <laughs> Fan art and messages. That was the worst. <laughs> I've ever done. Terrible. You try. I've done better. We see quite a bit. I mean, I think that nowadays it's easier and easier to, to see it. You know, Instagram, Twitter, social media. All the social you know. media, you can just see. You know, people post stuff and tag it, and then you know, if we just go and do a little search, then we can find it. So we should do one day. If we, we should have fans submit their art, and then we should incorporate it into some of our own artwork for our album or something. It's a great idea. It sounds like a great way for us to get free designs for t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. <clears throat> so thanks. Angelo from Santiago. Hey, Chile. see you soon in Russia. See you soon. We'll be there. Angelo from Santiago, Chile. What do you like to do when you have downtime while touring? Guys? Recently we've been doing a lot of golf. We have been doing a lot of golf. We have golf clubs on the road, so uh, finding local courses. Uh, At least the three of us have. I broke my clubs in frustration. Now I don't call and anymore. He so. put them on uh, <laughs> Craigslist and packed it in. And so yeah. yeah, yeah. We watched Joe have a huge spaz and <laughs> whipped his clubs multiple times. And it was weird because usually it's Tyler that has the huge spaz, so right? it was really a strange environment to be around. Yeah. 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 So that, I don't know. Other than that, uh, me and Dean actually like to kind of try to go and uh, walk around the town. Sight see. Mm -hmm. Dean started doing, and I started following up. Is uh, every town we try to get a uh, or a different city get a uh, Starbucks mug? The You Are Here collection. Yeah. So uh, Dean's got a bunch. I, I'm uh, I'm catching up, but I, I need to get a lot more. But we can't. We're hoping to get some in Russia too when we go yeah. over there. UK, Ireland, Scotland. It's gonna be badass. Patty from Orlando. What or who was the inspiration for the songs on the new album? What or who? Well, it depends. What or whom? What or whom, actually, Patty, as we correct you. Uh, uh, Japan, song for song. Uh, lyrically, all the stuff that I write is all comes from uh, stuff that's going on in my life. So it's usually about uh, someone, uh, I don't know, close to me. It's hard to say. 
Uh, really, it's a secret. It's different. It's probably different. For it's none of your business. It's <laughs> none of your fucking business. <laughs> but on, on this record, actually, a uh, little less relationship and more stuff. Uh, real world problems. Real world problems. Savages is all about how the world is going to shit. Uh, like Panic Room. Uh, sorry. Whoa. Whoa, sorry. That's amazing. Somebody <laughs> go get her a number. Okay, carry on. Let's carry on. Yeah. Uh, Panic Room is just like st more amazing stuff that happens to me personally, which uh, is actually a lot of fun to write. Next question. Terrence from Lake Tahoe. How long did it take to record this album? Fucking forever. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Terrence, I think he's on the wall in here. <laughs> they can't see that. Yeah, they can. Uh, well, they can. No, maybe. Oh, yeah. It's Terrence on the shit house wall, man. Uh, we recorded this yeah. one in uh, two sections. We did uh, a seven song session and then took a break for the holidays and came back and did another eight song session. So, so it was uh, eight, split up. It was actually supposed to be six songs because the label only wanted us to do six yeah. to start. And we were snuck in a sec uh, seventh, and they were pissed off. That's rock and roll. Fight the power, man. We did. We just snuck in another song. Our producer was actually nervous. like, I don't know, guys. We're going to get trouble. <laughs> we're like, come on. Like, fuck off. Alice from Moscow. Was it easy or difficult to write songs for this album? It was actually, at first, very difficult, because I think we were fighting a little bit of an identity crisis, because um, we made a couple records that were really successful, but um, and we kind of felt like... Sonically, maybe musically, we had come to the end of what we were doing. Really felt like we needed to do something different, and so for us, even in the studio recording, it was difficult to try to get off this this cruise control. That the we're old in. hat was it? Yeah. So it was nice to do a lot of shit differently on this new record and write different songs. But it was it was a very difficult process. <clears throat> Margo from Russia. What is the meaning behind naming this album Savages? So actually, the album's actually called Sausages, because so that's a misprint. <laughs> and the label just went with it, so we just named it Savages instead of Sausages. <laughs> I think a part of the reason that the record was Savages is kind of because it was the song that almost paved the direction for the record. So it was this, the first real song that we knew was like, going to be on the record and paved what we wanted to do for the rest of the record. I would say out of our five records we made, Savages was the only record that, that had a theme from the beginning, from when we started writing the songs that worked for this record. Every other album, we just recorded the songs, and it's just like, what are we gonna name now? I don't know. I don't figure it know. out. Figure it out. This one, I, I personally always kind of wanted to name the record Savages. There's just something about that word that just felt like it was where we wanted to be. And it all worked out. I think it just, uh, it's almost like it was planned from the beginning. We didn't even, we didn't even know it yet. Next question. Loving all these questions from Russia because we're yeah. going there. This is exciting. I know, and I can read all the Russian perfectly. I, know, yes. I didn't know you were so good at Russian. Let's carry on. Addy from Houston. With what kind of feelings do you experience right before your album is about to be released? <laughs> uh, Some old pervert from Family Guy. Right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like Blackstone Cherry. All of Whoa, them. zing. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, uh, you, this one I think is, for me personally, the most anticipated just because it's taken so fucking long to make. So even though our album is coming out in a matter of days now, uh, I don't know when this is being posted. It comes out July 29th. Um, I don't know, it's exciting. It really feels like this is almost like the first record. I feel like this is the most excitement I've felt pre-record release, mm -hmm. I think, ever. So, you know, it's weird because usually it seems like it, the excitement would get less and less, but there's just something about the way this album's setting up and, and uh, you know, the comments we've had from people that have heard it. So I think I'm just overall excited. It's just like, it's just, what's that, Dean? I was going to say, it's really cool, too. It's the first time that we've been able to pre-release, like, four songs before the album's been out. So we've been getting positive feedback from those four songs, too. So it's it's good to see that other people are excited as well. First time ever. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Good thing about technology, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you, ITs. Christy from Los Angeles. How do you think your sound has changed from your first album to Savages? Joe, you want to take one? That's a good one. I don't know. I wasn't around on that album, but well, you've uh, listened to it. I've definitely heard it. Played it. 
played it a few times. Played the last song. Oh, you like Confession? <clears throat> well, it was different. It's totally different. I mean, it. The first record was very medium tempo based, you know, songs, and and I think that going into Savages from that first record, I mean, we've got like fast paced songs. We've got really hard hitting songs. Um, lyrically is I think a lot smarter than Tyler's ever written lyrics before. I think he's top of his game and I musically too I, I think, think musically we've never like, even a, a approached our <coughs> our playing style yeah yeah our playing know, style the rest of us are getting dumber yeah we're getting smarter yeah. So Joe what you're trying to say is maybe dynamically there was the first mm. record mm. to now we've really learned a lot yes. the dynamics of mm. making the ebb and flow dynamics that's smart that's smart stuff Ty. see Ty. What I can said? you dumb that down for everybody because none of us understood that Die. <laughs> <laughs> the era from Reading, Pennsylvania. Is it Reading or Reading? I don't, I don't know. Take a so. take a ride on the on the Reading. I don't know, but Sierra sounds like a stripper name. <laughs> Sierra, welcome to the stage. What is the craziest thing a fan has ever done? Whoa. Uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, the trailer rider. Trailer rider was a good milk one. Squirter. I'm gonna go with the cr the squirter. free cream creamer. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you need some cream in your coffee? Yeah, Joe got some free a free double double. <laughs> uh, we did a festival in Kansas City, and a fan who must have been maximum 16 years of age, she came out and she was like, "You guys want to see something that you're gonna talk about forever?" And we're like, "Yeah, let's see." So she whips out a tit, and we're like, "Yeah, whatever." And then she just squeezes started, it and starts shooting milk. milk out of everybody. Like oh, a little kid. Yeah, literally on a kid, like in front of her. I think that kid's probably scarred for life. May have been her uh, kid, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, that was. I think Joe got some of his coffee. Joe there. started dry heaving. I've never seen anything like it. It was amazing. It was disgusting. She but, was the um, most attractive woman. It was it was disgusting, but if you're out there, we are trying to find you. Yeah, I will contact. My phone phone number is <laughs> Debbie from San Fernando. What is each of your favorite tracks off Savages? D. Oh man, that's tough. Uh, I, my favorite is the Sun Has Set on Me, the last what? track of the record. Whoa, it's a hidden God. gem, oh, and we're all gonna pick oh, the same one. Wow. Uh, well, that just means don't miss that song. Get to the re end of the record. But that's the one uh, for me. Tyler, go. Uh, I'm gonna say Salt in the Wound is my fave. There's only two songs in the record that kind of give me uh, the goosebump, and one was Sun of Me, which Dean stole. Yeah, sorry. And Salt in the Wound. I just, uh, I about that song. I just, uh, I love, I want, really want to get, maybe let's start playing this song live. I agree with both of those choices. They're both good, but I, I just want to, for the sake of picking something different, I'm going to pick uh, Live My Life Like a Country Song. Oh, nice. There's another song a little on the outside of what they chose, not quite heavy, uh, but more just, uh, I, I don't know, there's something about that song to me that I just can't deny. Every time I hear it, I'm like, there's something great about this song, and it just flows, it sounds good. I don't know, I love it. So, Joe? I think country song, but I, I love that, but I, I still got to say Salt in the Wood is probably my favorite. Nice. nice. Yeah, Joe? Yes. Yeah. Jade from Pensacola. Is there any band you want to go on tour with? that you haven't been on the road with just yet. Ooh. I kind of feel like it. I just want to like do a tour with the Foo Fighters or something. Uh, I feel like it'd just be cool because they'd probably fill rooms and their fans <laughs> would be <laughs> awesome probably, events. Probably have sell tickets. Yeah, they'd probably like fill some great arenas and then we'd play for a lot of people and they'd probably be good rock fans. So I just feel like it would be a good good match. Uh, and plus, I've never seen them play, so it'd be cool to just you know, We've played play. a lot of shows with tons of our favorite bands. Um, you know a band I'd love to go on tour with, which will never happen, would be Silverchair oh, man, yeah. Yeah. in Australia. Cool. Let's go on an Australian tour with Silverchair. They can open for us. They can open for us, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, that would be awesome. That, that would be watch awesome. the show every night. Yeah. We'll Soundgarden's awesome. touring now, too. That'd be another band that'd be pretty awesome to go to. Stare right. <laughs> Cancel the show tonight. Uh, Is it? Next one, Luke from Sydney. What is your favorite part of the recording process? Probably recording it. <laughs> Say probably the recording part process. Doing the drums. Yeah, my drums favorite's the part. bass. Yeah. <laughs> I actually like the, uh, honestly, I, for some reason I do like recording the drums the most because it's the only real time where we're all playing at the same time. It's raw. And so, yeah. You know, me and Dean are sitting in there with headphones jamming and ties in an ISO booth singing and playing and then Joe's actually the one who's got to lay it down. But I feel like there's a ton of pressure for us to play tight so that Joe plays tight. 
And it's like the only time when all four of us are all rocking at the same time. It's the most adrenaline music. too. Yeah. Like when you're recording guitars and bass, it's very methodical and you, have, you can't pinch too hard. You, yeah. It's just like all about timing right. and everything. It's hard to just like start headbanging. All it's all about time. attitude when it's the drums. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, hard to feel it. That's too. It's right yeah, beginning, it's, so the excitement is right oh, there. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That's totally. Hands down. Ryan from Chicago, what was your favorite city to hit while on tour? Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, right. Ryan right from Chicago. It's Chicago. <laughs> Obviously. He's the right. right. so, the entire time. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Probably a city we've never played before, honestly. I, uh, we have we played a lot of places, but I always want to play a place we haven't been yet. I want to go to Japan. Australia. 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 These two shows in Russia are exciting. Yep. I've never been there. Yeah. I want to go back to Hawaii. Hawaii, that would be cool. Hawaii is sure. great. It is fun. I mean, the weather there is terrible. <laughs> the beaches are crap. <laughs> These shows are amazing. Yeah. Oh, we got a Vancouver girl. Kristen from Vancouver says, Dave, did the STD you gave me... What? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late to edit this one out. All right. Second part. What are your guilty pleasures? The Roxy. Murder in Vancouver. <laughs> Roxy. 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 Yeah, Roxy. Fuck. Uh, I don't know. Guilty pleasures. I don't ever have. I don't really have any guilty pleasures. Uh, Dean's is Big Brother after Dark or whatever. Yeah, I was just watching Big Brother. <laughs> I got into it. I got into it. I don't know what's, what's going on now. So yeah, Big Brother is uh, an embarrassment. But. That's, a guilt, that's what a guilty pleasure is, right? You have embarrassment over it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, mine's probably uh, B-movies. A friend that is obsessed with finding, like, not even B movies, like C movies. Mm -hmm. So I got this movie that he sent me. It's called Manborg, and it looks amazing. <laughs> We've seriously had, uh, watched some terrible movies that are amazing. Like one's called Black Devil Doll. Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it on Christmas Day. It's one of the best, worst movies you'll ever see. It's awesome that you woke up on Christmas Day and watched Black Devil Doll. Christmas Night. Watch it on YouTube. You can watch it on Vivo in Canada. It's two endings, I think, right? There's two innings. I know in overseas they had to kind of make it a little uh, nicer because it is a very, very creepy and wicked video. Yeah, so what you can expect is something you wouldn't expect from Theory of a Dead Man, which is a creepy, weird, wicked video. So. Yeah, it's great. It's one of our best, I think. Carl from Jacksonville. What do you want your fans to walk away with from your live show? A pair of my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Dean's phone number. What else? Yeah. I don't know. I think that uh, for us, the goal when we play live is always just to try to steal fans. You know, if they maybe haven't seen us before or uh, heard our music but never saw us live, I think the goal for us is to just perform the songs well and have people say, wow, they sounded really good. I like those guys. That's really all I'm after. Yeah, I, I get that question a lot. And uh, yeah, usually we say, like, you know, you ringing ears. Our sound guy, Mark, he was good at doing that. <laughs> Scott from San Mateo. Who is the messiest in the band? The messiest. It's gonna um, wash yeah. It's gotta be We're not really that messy. We are not that messy. Yeah. It's scared. the crew that's messy. Yeah. The crew is we disgusting. The bus and they're just disgusting. They're, they're all just disgusting cakes. people. They're not even really people, actually. No. The crew are like kind of less than human. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> We'd be sh nothing without our crew. Uh, we love our nice crew. Nice damage control. Nice damage yeah. control. <laughs> and the crew are our brothers. <laughs> and one sister, Josh. <laughs> Anna from Fresno. Do any of you have hidden talents your fans don't know about yet? Ooh. Hmm. Joe's double jointed. <laughs> Joe, put your legs over your head right now. <laughs> right now. How's <laughs> your ears? I don't have hidden talents. David and I play ice hockey at home. That's true. Uh,